Taurus, this is Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Taurus, this is going to be your general love and relationship uh, reading for the month of June 2016. All right, so let's get right into your uh, messages, uh, Taurus. For some bulls that I'm reading for, you have the potential of excuse me, encountering the energy of the Seven of uh, Swords in the upright position. So this Seven of Swords uh, basically relates to you know conflicts um i'm not discussing any other areas or aspects of your life taurus i'm focusing on love and relationships so some of you may be dealing with some uh conflicts when it comes to dating and relationships uh, some of this energy relates to uh, possibly air signs gemini libra aquarius male or female doesn't necessarily have to be they may have air elements in their birth chart also from the past i'm getting energy that there may have been a separation possibly with an air sign but there was a separation I'm picking up energy wise and this seven of swords shows up uh, whatever was taken from you comes back uh, this is usually uh, you know thievery this card indicates thievery or stolen something that was taken from you so I'm not talking about your purse nor your car or whatever I'm talking about a relationship so it may have been that there was a, a party that came in that created this conflict and stress for you related to someone that you were intimate or romantic with uh, but this month there's the potential of that situation even having a turnaround or some sort of resolution okay what's crossing the uh, seven of swords is the nine of pentacles so this is a good card to get it's in the upright so this is number one the nine of pentacles for me is always a card to emphasize just to be thankful and grateful for what you have if you already are in an established relationship or if you're connected uh, with someone just be thankful and give thanks for that and then also to this relates to options for those single Tauruses that I'm reading for for this particular month um, <clears throat> being available or potentially being available to you the pentacles represent you your earth so it could be that you meet or connect with another earth sign like yourself um in the upright position not only is this card a, a card of gratitude but it is also a card of um stability and security So, but because it is, let me just say that it's crossing this seven of swords. I have to throw that in there. And it's this conflict that may be for some of you that I'm reading for creating minor conflict and instability for you related to a relationship. Again, along with, it could be with another air sign, or I'm sorry, with an air sign or with another earth sign like yourself. Six months going back to a year. Now we have uh, Major Arcana and this is liberation. So I like this liberation. Some of you may have found some sort of freedom from relationships or you just feel or if you're still with it, you know, within a relationship, uh, maybe something occurred. Maybe there was a shift of energy that um, gave you this sense of liberation and freedom. You just feel free. And. I, I'm just picking up some sort of, um, you know, because it is in your reading for the month, even though I'm just doing it for the flow of the reading. Uh, I feel that some of you are just going to be feeling this way, whether you're in an established relationship or not. Just this liberate. You're just going to be feeling liberated. And free. And it's a it's a good feeling. It's a happy feeling. So. In this card, this female, you see her, you know, her heart. But it also could mean, because it's a major life event and major arcana, it could mean that, you know, you're just maybe I'm just, you know, I'm getting this message about possibly detaching from a relationship that created some sort of problems uh, from you. And it's like you're saying to yourself, finally. You know, you could be saying, finally, I'm done with that. So it's a lot of messages here with this major arcana showing up, liberation. 
But I feel that some of you are just going to feel liberated, happy, and free in the month of June. Some of you, then you have another major arcana, justice. So either, you know, yesterday going back to six months, some sort of justice was served to you. Now, this could be related to um, for those Tauruses that I'm reading for, you know, dealing with divorce proceedings and it was in your favor. So some sort of justice was served to you. Also, I'm going to jump around because the justice is over top of the three of uh, cups in the reverse position. So some of you involved in a love triangulation with the justice card over top of that card feel disrespected and feeling like out you're out of balance with the uh, relationship. I don't know if this relates to if it is involving a triangulation that you're being disrespected and feeling that in terms of priority that you should be prioritized over the other person. Something's going on. Something, something's going on. I had to jump to that because it was coming in strongly that somebody's not a happy camper with this. Um, two or more people involved and you're being disrespected and you feel like justice is not being served to you because of some sort of uh, priority thing so I don't want to spend too much time on that I just got that and I wanted to throw it out there but this card shows up and it's in the positive um, position upright so there is going to be some sort of justice served to individuals this month related to uh, relationships and then feelings of uh, being balanced now for those Tauruses that I'm reading for we're going out into the future now um, some of you are, okay there's a couple messages here the eight of cups and this is in a love relationship reading the first message is a reluctance to walk away from a situation that is creating emotional disappointment for you possibly with a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces the other message that i have and they don't necessarily have to be a water sign is that for the tauruses that i'm reading for is overcoming an emotional disappointment and let down that could have been possibly related to a water sign so there's two messages here now if you're not still with an individual that's created some sort of emotional uh, disappointment and let that let down for you then this card shows up for the you know for me to say that there's an emphasis of hanging on to that energy uh, but it needs to be released and moving out into the future. Okay, that's just for those Tauruses that I'm reading that are dealing with this situation. And even more so, because I'm going to jump ahead again, we have the Knight of Cups in the upright position underneath that Eight of Cups in the reverse. So that's just for that last message that I said, having to overcome or release an emotional possible attachment related to a water sign okay moving out into the future now you have another major arcana so you got one two you got three four four you got four major arcanas and a 10 card spread for the month so this is powerful energy for you Taurus and it's not all negative this is the high priest it's on the upright so this is a card that I read in terms of energy as partnerships it also represents you, Taurus the Bull. So there could be, you know, someone getting married in the month of June. But this is emphasized where, for me, it's partnerships, two people 
this also involves teaching. So it could be that you're in a relationship with someone and they need to learn something from you or you need to learn something from them. So this could be a month of, you know, learning. Um, yeah, when it comes to dating and relationships. And you're never too old to learn something. So partnerships, teaching and learning in the month. Okay, so now the, the, the fourth major arcana is the devil. And it's in the upright. So some of you are, um, something's going on in terms of a, an addiction. Now, it could be because I am reading for you love and relationship someone is addicted to a relationship could be with another earth sign there's some sort of addiction this card is very is depicted in very sexual you know a very sexual manner so it could be that some of you have issues with you know your sex you know there's you may be have some sort of sexual addiction or it could be the person that you're with that has some sort of uh, sexual addiction. This card also represents being uh, restricted and bound. So it could be just the sexual thing that I'm picking up that some of you are just into being, uh, you know, into bondage or some shit. I don't know. But there's something going on related to this devil card showing up here. And it could be uh, some Tauruses that I'm reading for having uh, some sort of ruminating thoughts about a relationship and you can't it's just like a repetitive thing and you can't seem to release uh, those thought patterns now you could be still in a established relationship or it could be someone from your past and you just can't seem to shake thinking about them or how how things were while you were with them but there's definitely something going on in terms of feeling restricted and bound and you know sexual addiction okay after the devil card now we have the nine of wands so some of you have to be um careful about being defensive this month when it comes to relationships it could be with a fire sign leo sagittarius aries male or female defending your position and also to the nine of wands represent there could be some of you experiencing some interference from, you know, family members and friends uh, getting into your affairs of the heart. Some of you may be doing battles and struggles internally when it comes to uh, dating and relationships, just sorting things out and you're having a fight with yourself. OK, but it's primarily about being defense you know defending yourself your position and personal interference from family members and friends now we get to that three of cups in the reverse although i spoke about an earlier message that some of you are being disrespected uh in terms of a situation involving three people this is creating some sort of emotional unhappiness for you. Attached to that justice card. Outside of that justice card for the Tauruses that I'm reading for, there is an emphasis that I'm getting uh, related to someone that you're dating or in a relationship with that is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Either that relationship is creating some sort of unhappiness for you or it's them who is not happy with you. So it's going both ways. Either way, someone's not a happy camper when it comes to dating or involved in a relationship. Okay. Now, after it's all said and done, at the tail end of the month, the Knight of Cups is in the upright. And I like this energy. It's the Knight in Shining Armor. Uh, some of you who are single have the potential of meeting someone new, connecting with someone new. Again, water sign, but they don't have to be a water sign. It could be any sign. Uh, but this person has a good heart and they're family oriented. 
Uh, they have a love for children and they may even have children themselves when you uh, potentially meet them or connect with them. Yeah. And this is for female energies as well. So even though it's the Knight of Cups, person is, is fun loving to be around. Could be emotional, but in a good way. They love themselves and they love others. They just love being around uh, others. And this person comes across as being uh, intuitive. So this is good. So this is your reading, uh, Taurus. Like I said, it's a mixture of stuff here, but it's more positive than it is negative. I just spoke to those ones who are dealing with these issues with the devil showing up and then the, uh, you know, justice being served to you or feeling like there is some sort of injustice going on with you related to three people involved and being disrespected. OK, and hanging on to some sort of emotional baggage that needs to be released, overcoming a disappointment related to a release of a relationship. Seven of Swords as your opening energy relates to possibly a relationship that, you know, split separation in the past. And then there's the potential of that energy of that individual returning in the month of June. So we'll see. All right. So the Whispers of Love card that I have selected for you, Taurus, is, uh, and I'll just read the messages from the card. Ask for help. What is it you really uh, need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. Okay, so instantly I went right to this devil card. So if there's a, anything going on with you in terms of sexual addiction, if it's not you, it could be the person that you're with, you know, ask for help. Because the devil card is very powerful. Uh, and I'm not just speaking of sexual addictions. It's it's a very it relates to all addictions, substance abuse, and uh, you know those being addicted to a relationship that that doesn't serve you or resonate with you. So it's a very powerful card, uh, especially when it's in the up upright. If it was in the reverse and it showed up in your reading, then I would say it's overcoming those things, those addictions. But it's not. But anyway, this is your reading, Taurus. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming month ahead, full of uh, love, of course. Until the next time, Taurus, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.